they say the best time to work on your truck and your snow removal equipment is during the summertime. And I can speak from experience, even though I've only got one season doing it. Fuck doing that stuff in the cold. Holy crap. Even installing the plow. Man, that was unreal. You guys remember my 98 Crew Cab uh, OBS Dually. Uh, that had my Western plow on it. That was um, a 7 foot 6 straight blade. Worked out great. Well, we sold the truck. We got Leah. But some of you uh, plow folk will notice that this has an ultra mount mount on it. Now, what's nice about my plow is that even though it's a unimount, Got it out back there. It's got a spicy, spicy unimount to ultramount adapter. Um, unfortunately for us, the cups really aren't frozen in here. Um, Bogomo went all bare ham on them. I uh, got them to come loose, but those pins are seized in there, so I'm going to have to cut the pins. But thankfully, those are pretty easy to come by, the cups. That's a little different story. You can get them, but they're expensive. So, um, we got our plow harness in there. Uh, we got our new EGT probe here for the edge because it reads a couple of degrees cooler than my intake air temp. Our merchant automotive high idle kit. And then there's our uh, plow controller there. Uh, I got a few other things that I need to install in this truck. Uh, to get ready. We're slowly doing that as time goes on. Um, I'll show you guys a couple things. I know this is long-winded, but Leah is overdue. You know, we got our rear shock, some of our lights, radio, good stuff like that. So anyway, let me, uh, let me start laying some of this stuff out, start installing some of it. You know, this isn't really going to be a how-to video. It's just more along the lines of, this is what we're doing today. So... Wherever I may land, that's a truck catch up with it. The wiring all done. Got our uh, got our controller mounted. Tell you what, man, mounting that controller that was that was a hard one for me. I don't like uh, I don't like drilling into an interior. I, for some reason, on these trucks, I really like to try to keep them as factory as possible. Got the wiring in there. It looks good. But anyway, so today we got to, uh, let's continue moving forward. We got to cut the cups out. These, uh, these pins are seized in. Now I got a set right here. These are actually Luke's. And how it's supposed to work is that pin comes out. And then this right here slides out. Some torch action, some cutting wheel, a little sawzall. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't save the old cups. They were too far rotted in there. It wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, my neighbor Jeff is freaking awesome. He came, he came over, helped me out, kept me company while I was doing it too. And uh, she on there. Everything still functions as it should. Uh, the only thing that we do have going against us right now... Uh, and I already sent the pictures to good buddy Bogoma. Um, I'm sure he'll have an answer for us because this is his forte. We don't have uh, we don't have headlights. Could be dirty connections. Could be I can I can hear the relays making noise. Um, 
Might have to uh, look back into my wiring, but it's all pretty much plug and play from the OBS to this. One thing that I am going to have to get used to is lining it up. Because on the OBS, the you could see the light bar uh, from behind the wheel. And on this, you can just barely see the headlights that come up. So this looks a lot less obnoxious on this truck than it did my dually. Well, what's really nice is that I can actually get away with running this plow a little bit longer than when I had it on the dually because it's wider than my truck. So I got that going for me. But, yeah, she's all... She's all wired up, got everything, got her controller in there. It, uh, I was a little anxious to see how it would go with the new windshield. And, uh, you know, nothing cracked, nothing creaked. So I got no complaints there. I can finally, uh, can finally mow that section out there. She sank into the yard. Uh, we did put it out there last year and it was really wet out when we had it on the front of izzy and uh it, it just sank so i gotta i gotta reconfigure that but i think i might take it I'm, oh oh hey baby hey what's up i think i might leave it on, oh no shit i can't because of the lights i don't know i gotta i gotta get the damn thing cleaned up look at that rust hole also look how fat this makes my finger look anyway Anyway, she's on there. It's taking a couple days of getting after it, being able to work on it. A lot of Sally progress going on too. So we've been we've been busy. Uh, we also got the baby trailer back there. I think I think I might cover what we do to that. You know, just some do-it-yourself shit around the house to make it functional, ramps, stuff like that. But anyway. Like my man Stanley, Dirt Monkey, however the hell you say his last name. The best time to work on your plows is when it's 70 degrees out. And you know what? That was easy. Because if we tried doing this shit in the middle of the cold, oh man. It's, it ain't worth it. But anyway, there we are. We got the Western Unimount to Ultramount adapter. We got our 7.6 mounted. And uh, hopefully we get a... Uh, Hopefully we get a plowing season, because last year was just garbage. It's because I bought a plow. But anyway, we got more junk coming over the horizon. We got to get everything in, because it's it's going to rain. Go figure. Ray gets his bike out. He's ridden it once. Wife works second shift. She's been able to uh, get all the good riding weather. Me, not so much, because it's going to rain tonight. And it's going to be raining when I come home, so it's not worth it. But anyway, uh, thank you guys, all the love and support, all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe out there. Stay sane. Try to keep yourselves busy, guys. I know it's a tough time. Uh, take care. We'll see you on the next one, guys. See you.